This is one of the most gorgeous properties that I've ever seen come out of the Hollywood Hills and with a hefty price tag to match. This Scandinavian A-frame design minimalist mansion is a stunning home with six bedrooms, nine bathrooms, and over 11,000 square feet. With a gorgeous home theater, infinity edge pool, and only minutes to the Sunset Plaza, this property is a living art piece. Hello everyone, I'm Connor Ashley with Nosy Neighbor Real Estate, and today we're gonna take a look inside a $32 million minimalist mansion in Los Angeles, California. I mean, I'm like, literally, this is my favorite property I've ever seen. I'm like, I'm moving in. My bags are packed, let's go. I don't care, who's moving in? I'll join you. What do you need from me? I'll do it. Yep, got it. Let's do it. I'm like, I am in love with this home. It is so beautiful, right up my alley. It's like, I mean, listen, $32 million, little overpriced, but I mean, I'll never be able to afford it anyway. But maybe, maybe if you like the video and subscribe to my channel, and uh, share this video? I don't know, like, I will never be able to afford to live here, but it is so stunning. I mean, granted, I don't need 11,000 square feet, but, wow. Okay, so it's at 1471 Forest Knoll Drive in Los Angeles, California. It's six bedrooms, nine bathrooms, just over 11,000 square feet, and the listing price is $32 million. You can check it out on the map right here. It's just above the Sunset Strip, Sunset Plaza, great area of the Hollywood Hills. You're up enough where it's like a little more quiet, a little more private, but you're still, you know, low enough to where it doesn't take forever to get to the Sunset Strip, and you get great views. So you get the best of both worlds here. Um, I mean, you're just gonna have to see it. I mean, stunning, stunning. Oh, also, if you want to check out the listing for yourself, it'll be linked on my blog at nosyneighborrealestate.com, also in the description down below. Um, and I picked some of my favorite sort of minimalist modern uh, furniture that I think would look amazing in this property. Lots of dupes that are, you know, not as expensive as the, as the ones in here. Um, and I linked all those down below and on my blog as well. Um, all right, let's see this place. I mean, oh, I wish I had $32 million. Okay. Oh, I love the A-frame design. You see right there, the pool is off the cliff. Look at this, you have the white, you have the wood, you have the black steel beams, you have these olive trees. They're probably imported from Italy. The floor to ceiling windows, I, I love it. I love the light wood, the concrete. Look at this, you have wood paneling up, up to the ceiling. Look at that view. I mean, have you ever, have you ever? Listen, this property is hanging off the side of the cliff. You got an infinity edge pool, hot tub, and grass for your dogs. And I mean, look at this, that is an art gallery. You walk right in, you got these beautiful windows let in so much light. You got the uniqueness of the A-frame, sort of Scandinavian minimalist. I mean, it's literally moving art in your house. The paneled walls, I mean, I could never hang a picture unless I got a command strip, right? Can't spackle a wood panel on the wall. Look at these bedrooms. I mean, those views are absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning views. You have the three A-frames. So it's like the whole house is an A-frame. No matter which wing you're in, this beautiful closet, beautiful bathroom. You got the marble. I love that light wood floor planking, um, you know, contrasted with the marble, with the black sort of industrial elements, very Scandinavian, very like Ikea, but like rich Ikea, you know what I mean? Multiple living rooms. You got the bar here in the living room. They're really showcasing how light in this home moves and creates art. I mean, you got a gym here, don't need it. You can take that out. I'm moving in, so won't need a gym. Oh, look at that, you got an outdoor shower, you got the home theater. 
I definitely need that. Definitely need the home theater. Gorgeous. Probably a projector that costs more than my rent. Ugh. The doors, the windows. Who cleans the windows? I ain't cleaning those windows. Who cleans them? How much do they get paid? Can't afford that. I mean, truly, just architecturally stunning. Okay, that kitchen though? I'm sorry. That kitchen is kind of underwhelming. I will say, like as far as kitchens go in mansions, it's very underwhelming. Like it, I expected something bigger, um, something maybe more grand. Now look, it's super modern, super minimal. Love the style of it. Love how it sort of plays with the rest of the home. But I'm like, is there a different kitchen? Is this like the kitchen in the casita or what? I mean, super high end, obviously. You got high end appliances. I don't cook anyway. So frankly, I don't give a shit. But um, not the kitchen I'd expect. That's my only thing. Only thing. Um, but great, love it. You got the kitchen, the dining area, the, you know, the little family room area. It is kind of odd having the three separate sort of wings, um, but I mean, stunning. Stunning outdoor spaces. They have the large hedges, so it's still private. And look here, as the sun's setting, I mean, that view right there is everything with the wood paneling, the cement, concrete, fireplace, the views. Oh god, it's so beautiful. Oh my god. Look at all that recessed lighting. How much is your electricity bill? Oh my god, I can't even imagine. I just love, I mean, look at that. Look at that. Have you ever seen a property so beautiful? I get, I get it. It's not going to be for everyone, but I mean, this place is really nice. I don't care if you like this style, you gotta be like, oh wow, they did a really nice job. What happened with the kitchen? I don't really know. I'm not going to go into it too much um, because I would like this home if somebody is offering. Um, I mean, either way, the kitchen is like definitely not what I expected, but I mean, the rest of the home is absolutely stunning. And nonetheless, it's a high end, stunning, beautiful kitchen, gorgeous, but just not what I expected. Um, I don't know. Everyone's not going to love this type of place. I completely get that. Let's look at the photos here. Um, look, it's on an acre. Um, it was designed by Standard Architecture and it's listed by Tyrone McKillen with Compass Real Estate. Boy. Um, let me see how much money is in my bank account. Would you be willing to let this go for... $250? Cause that's what I got. Girl. I mean, literally beautiful. That main, right when you walk in, I mean, that is the showstopper, right? You got the three wings, still a little weird, but like, I don't care. It's so cool. Resale value, non-existent. 20, 30 years, this will be not that popular. But I don't care, right? I'm a billionaire. I'm buying a $32 million home. I mean, absolutely stunning, beautiful piece of art, literally. Does it come furnished? Because I can't afford to furnish this whole place. So whoever's buying me this property, make sure it comes furnished. Love the cement fireplace. I mean, everything is really cohesive and I just love that. The flooring is just beautiful. The wood panel, I mean, I just can't get over that in the A-frame, like, it's not like something I've seen before. I'll put it that way. And this is like, literally this could be a museum. You know what I mean? Like an art museum or something. I mean, beautiful. What do you guys think of this place? I mean, I, I don't know. I don't think, I, I don't think everyone else is gonna like this as much as I like it. Um, and I completely understand why. I mean, it's three A-frame houses right next to each other. I mean, it's definitely weird. It's definitely Scandinavian, minimalist, not gonna be everyone's cup of tea. And listen, I don't love a super modern, contemporary, 
box, right? Like all the ones that are popping up everywhere. I don't love that. But we're also seeing a lot of these modern farmhouse places, especially when you look at like Hidden Hills. I've done a couple of videos about the Hidden Hills, sort of modern farmhouse properties here. So click up there, check those out. Listen, those are cute too, but they're almost leaning into how I felt about the modern boxes. Like they're everywhere, right? And I think that this property beautifully marries that, you know, modern contemporary box with the, you know, modern farmhouse sort of feel and gives it more of like a Scandinavian minimalist edge. And I love it. I just wish the kitchen was different. I'm like, honey, kind of thrown some marble, kind of thrown a slab of marble on the kitchen. <sighs> but overall, great place. I love it. Never be able to afford it. So I don't know why I'm getting so heated about it. I really just want though. Um, let me know what you guys think. Subscribe to the videos, like this video, comment down below what do you guys think of this property. I think it might be a little overpriced. Um, but maybe I'm biased because I can't afford it. So, let me know what you guys think. Subscribe for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Check us out on Instagram for tons of real estate photos at Nosy Neighbor Real Estate. And I'll see you guys in the next one.